South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg appeared on CNN's State of the Union this past weekend, where he came out firmly against Medicare for all. See, Buttigieg doesn't believe that we should be forcing people in this country onto a government run healthcare plan. In fact, he said, the difference in my vision for Medicare for all who want it versus Sanders Warren vision is I think we can do that and not order Americans onto that public alternative. So there he is, just as a lot of us expected at the time, Pete Buttigieg sitting there trying to straddle the line of, well, let's have Medicare for all who, who want it, but let's also have the private insurance and let's keep all them happy. And I'm just a real nice guy and I speak lots of languages and everybody should just please like me because I'm doing my best to appease everybody by not really taking a stand on anything, Mayor Pete. That's what you're doing. That's what it means when you're straddling the line. It's not that, oh wow, look at this person, they're such a great leader. It's no, I'm too much of a coward to take the necessary steps to fix what's wrong with this country. That's what I see when I see people do that. And that is exactly what Buttigieg is doing right now. There was a time, maybe about a year ago, maybe even less than a year, when I thought Medicare for all who want it was the, was the best option, was a great idea. I'm not that person anymore. A lot has changed in the last 12 months, folks. Medicare for all who want it is a stupid idea. And if I could go back in time, I would slap the hell out of myself for ever even suggesting that it was a decent proposal. It's stupid, it's bad, and it's not enough. Anything that doesn't cover every single person in this country is eventually going to get hacked to hell and back. That's why you gotta go big and you gotta go all in and you gotta get everybody covered under the exact same plan. You can't take that away. Oh sure, Republicans will try. But the public, the outcries, the backlash from that will prevent it from ever actually happening. But if you have a Medicare for all who want it plan, while most people still go to their little private insurance plans, then when they start cutting back Medicare for all who want it, we're not gonna speak up because we're fine. We got insurance through our jobs. We, we got other kinds of insurance, we're good. So if they cut back this program that only affects some people, yeah, maybe there'll be a few, oh no, don't do it. But we're not really gonna care when they just scale it back and weaken it and eventually destroy it. And that's why those incremental little plans don't work. Guys, it's gonna hurt, okay? Medicare for all, implementing it, putting it in place and getting everybody on that same plan. There's gonna be hiccups. It's not gonna be perfect. Probably not even gonna be a smooth transition, but it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. And that Band-Aid is private insurance. The Band-Aid's on there because something's horribly wrong. And we've gotta rip it off, deal with the sting for a few seconds, and we're good to go. Buttigieg doesn't understand that because Buttigieg wants to make everybody happy. He just wants everybody to be living in this happy, smiley world where we all get along and corporations don't take advantage of people. But that's not the world that we live in. And we can't address a fantasy, we have to deal with the reality. And I don't think Mayor Pete is up to the job. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.